Today, I'm bringing you a motion graphics tutorial that will show you how to build this simple, elegant line path animation in DaVinci Resolve using only a few nodes. So we are staying on the Fusion page here and we are going to go to the Shape Node group. So we will bring the SB Spline node as well as the S Render node. So for any Shape node to be used as output, we have to render it out. Uh, therefore, the S Render node is very, very important. All right, so now let's uh, come to the SB Spline node here. Uh, we are going to right click, right click here for Shape Animation. And then we're going to click Remove SB Spline Polyline. So why do we do this? Well, it's really to kind of prevent us from making accidental mistakes down the road. So to demonstrate, I'm going to just draw a very simple shape here on the screen. Now you will see that it automatically keyframes for us. So let's say somewhere else in the video, we decide to make a change to this shape. You will see that it will automatically keyframe again. So then if you were to play this right now, you're going to see that it pretty much automatically created a shape animation for us. And this may not be what we want. And that is why we're going to right click and then in the menu choose remove SB spline polyline. So this will pretty much just disable that automatic keyframing uh, we saw earlier. All right, so now let's start by just drawing the path here on the screen. And you're gonna notice that I am gonna go beyond the screen. So that's actually good for this uh, example here. Uh, so don't be afraid to do that. If we zoom out a bit, you're going to see this zigzag path uh, is going well beyond the screen. And that's exactly what we want. So uh, what we're going to do right now is to start uh, to bring out the line itself. And we are going to do that by just increasing the border width by a touch uh, there. So uh, in this case, really less is more. So just a little bit is perfect. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to start to animate this line by setting a keyframe for length setting. Make sure it's sitting at zero right now at the beginning of the clip and then go to the end of this clip and then bring it all the way up to one. So now if we were to have a look at this animation, you're going to see that uh, we got a little line animation going on. However, once the line goes beyond the screen, we can't really see it. So that is what we're going to tackle next. All right, so to make it look as if a camera is constantly following it, we are going to keyframe the offset setting here. And then we're going to come to the end of the clip and then keyframe again by adjusting the offset Y setting. Start to bring that down so that uh, the end of the line here is going to be somewhere uh, here on the screen. So that's good enough. And if we were to play this right now, you're going to see that it's going to look as if a camera is constantly following this line as it's moving. That looks so smooth. Uh, it looks wonderful. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do here is just to add that dot. And to do that, we are going to copy the SB spline node here, and then we're going to simply paste it. And then in this duplicated SB spline node, you're going to see that we are borrowing a lot of the existing settings. And all we're going to do is to just double click the length setting first. This will reset it. And then we're going to make sure that we bring this all the way down to zero. And then we are going to start to increase the border width there uh, just a little bit. And now you're going to see this little dot forming here at the bottom. Uh, so a little bit more there. And then I think that's good enough. So now if we were to have a look, you're going to see that the dot is there, but it's not animated. So that is uh, something we'll be looking at next. All right, so what we're going to do is to set a keyframe for the position setting here. And then we're going to go to the end of this clip. And then we're going to set a keyframe by bringing it back up to one. So now you're going to see that uh, this dot is right now animated and it's moving in perfect sync with the line path animation. Just look how smooth that is. It's just it's, that's beautiful motion graphic. And now one other thing we can do here is to just add a background. So let's bring a background node here and then connect S render to it as a foreground. And then we're going to just to quickly change the color uh, of this background here. And you guys, we are pretty much done with this effect at this moment. Now, with that being said, you can always add some just to this animation. So one thing we can do is to bring in a shadow node. However, when we apply shadow node like this right after the S render, this is going to apply it to this entire animation. And it doesn't look necessarily that good. So if let's say you want to apply this shadow node to only the dot itself, you can't really do that easily here in the shape node because the shape nodes, as you can see, don't accept any nodes other than just the shape nodes themselves. 
So to do that, we need to unplug this uh, SB spline node first, and then let's just bring in a new S render node, and then connect this SB spline to this new S render, and then connect this S render to the other one as a foreground. So now this dot is uh, sort of being rendered separately, and it's being used as a foreground. So now what we can do is to bring in that shadow node again, and then apply it to this dot. You're gonna see that uh, if we bring up the softness setting a little bit there, it's going to create this beautiful shadow uh, right underneath it. It just adds such a nice texture uh, to this uh, entire animation. And it's uh, very easy to do, but it does require a workaround. Okay, so one other thing we can do here is to add a glow node instead of shadow. So let's just do that. Oh my goodness, instantly this just makes it look so much nicer. Uh, I really like this one. So let's just bring up the glow size and also the glow setting itself as well a little bit. And just by doing that, you guys, this looks so professional, so cool. And it's just a nice, simple, elegant line animation that you can create an independent resolve using just a few nodes. Now to change the color, simply come to the SB spline node, come to the style tab here, and then just go to color, change it to a color that you want, whatever color that you like. And yeah, you guys, this is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, as always, I will see you next time.